Well, I thought I'd spend a little bit of time this evening painting up these urns. Now I have two of these. They're rather heavy and I think they're made from some type of cement or concrete or something that's being poured into a mould. Now you may think I spent a lot of money on these but actually I didn't. They were £12.50 each from a local shop which kind of specialises in home decor and things like that. It's really full of um, a lot of junk and stuff but sometimes you'll find really nice things. I got these. The only thing I've had to do is drill a hole in the bottom of them because they're not um, there's no drainage. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me that's heavy, is with some paints, I've got some acrylic paint here, I've got some sap green, some yellow ochre which will make it more mossy and I've got some of this colour here which is uh, opaque um, Naples yellow which is a type of, um, well it's yellow, it's a creamy whitey yellow which is nice, it's more like the sunshine. I've got some white here so I can dilute the colours down if I need to. So the idea is to make this look less new and more old. And I know I could paint it with yoghurt and milk and stuff, but that would take a long time and I don't want to be waiting because I want to get these planted up for summer. So I have a pot of water. I have some old brushes here. Now I'm terrible, these are really nice brushes. These are the proper acrylic brushes and I'm terrible for wasting brushes. But um, over time they do get worn out, so I don't actually mind using these. Now this is a fan one, I don't know if you can see that. And that would be good for just getting a nice rough effect onto the stone here. So I just need to give them a brush down first because they've been outside, covered in bits and pieces that have fallen from the sky. And there's some little insects running on now, I have to go and let them out. So yeah, so we'll see how I get on. So I'm just putting bits of paint onto this plate. Now this is, oh, what come out is like an old pie plate, which is um, metal. And you can see the reason I use these plates is because first off, they're very easy to clean. Now acrylic paint is like a plasticky kind of finish. So if you see on the lid here, you can peel it off like a plastic film. And when you're cleaning your plate, you put it under very hot water and it literally just peels off, so it takes seconds to clean. So I'm just putting these colours onto here. No idea how it's going to look, but there's nothing to lose, have we? Because I can always go over it again. And I've got some of that one. Got some bit of white there. And this is yellow ochre, which is a very earthy colour, but I think this tube's nearly empty. But fortunately, there's some. I have a drawer full of paints over there, so right, I'm just going to mix a little bit with some water. Now water's the main tool for this because it dilutes the colours down. You don't want to do this on a hot day because the paint will dry very quickly. So what we want is like a stone colour, a, a warmish stone, because where I live here we have a lot of sandstone. So that's kind of the natural thing we see. I'm just going to paint a little bit on there like that, that you can see. Just give it a bit of life. You have plenty of water. And I've got this other brush here which is soft, which is, um, I think it's nylon this one. I'll just kind of wash it through so it goes on nice and thin. There. Now the idea is this could take a few attempts, but the idea is to make this look old. So what I'm first doing is just giving it like a base colour. This table's a bit wobbly so I have to be careful. I don't knock the water everywhere. I don't want to spend all day cleaning up again. So I get that into all the nooks and crannies there. I'm going to do that all the way around to so check back in a moment and see how it looks. Now these pots, because what they're made of, it says they can go indoors or outdoors all year round, but I don't trust that this wouldn't get broken to pieces in the winter if it was to get waterlogged and wet. And then we had a hard frost, so if you live in a place where you don't get frost, then that's fine. You can leave them out, but I would personally, in this country, in England, 
think it's equivalent to zone 9 or 9A where I live. I will take this in because I don't want them to be ruined. Or I can just put them, empty them, leave them somewhere dry. Doesn't matter if it's frosty as long as there's no water in them. And there, so that's getting around to that side. A little bit more. Oops. I hope this table doesn't collapse. A bit more there. Isn't on. Now, I don't mind because I sometimes paint pictures, so I'm quite used to using these paints. And you might see I'm, I'm not really bothered where the paint goes because I don't want it to be even, I want it to be kind of random. Yes, I'm making a rare old mess as well. So the idea it looks naturally old and a little bit warm, kind of thing people pay a lot of money for. Um, but you can give the effect of that very cheaply and easily with these. Now the, the main thing is that you can find these somewhere. Uh, and we're almost round to that side now. Let's have a oh, dig around there. It's okay to pick up pure paint like that on your brush and just shove it on like that. And then what, all we need to do is just water it out. Oh, I think I have a bit of green on there as well, just to age it a bit more. That's the idea. It might look a bit bright to you at the moment, but it will mellow down if I put a bit of ochre into it. There, can you see? Looking a bit less uh, bright. I think I need a bit more white paint. Now this is um, artist quality paint, this one. it's uh, I don't know if you can buy this in other countries. This is a De La Roli System 3 acrylic. And I like acry acrylics. It's a bit like oil paint, but it, um, it dries quick and you don't have all the fuss and you don't have the smell because I'm not very good with them. Um, linseed oil smells and things, I get terrible headaches from things like that. So this suits me because there's no scent or anything. Just make sure I've got all the way around. It's looking nice and aged. Do the base now. Get the base all done. Just change the camera angle so you can see what's going on. What we're going to do now is the top part. Because the compost is going to go in here up to about there, I'm only going to paint it to about this level see the brush mark, make sure it's level on the table. That's a bit wobbly there, something. Right, so I'm using the same colours, just paint them on. Plenty of water to spread the paint about, because therefore it won't look too thick and more. That's it. So I hope you'll be able to have a go at this, and you can use these paints and any types of pots. I think I may do this in one go, but I may come back tomorrow when it's fully dried and just do some more details on it. I think it might just need that bit extra. So you can use your brush in a stippling motion and you get the stone effect a bit better and a bit of raw paint there look straight on. Now get some water and feather it out a little, that's it. Here's a before and here's an after, or an after and before. The one on the left I painted up, I think it looks really nice. It's actually dried already because it's so porous. It's a little bit wet down there still. Compared to the other one, which I think looks a little bit harsh and doesn't look as appealing to the eye. And uh, yes, this is my craft cabinet where I keep all my paints and things. When I get, actually get around to painting again. There's a painting of mine on the chair. 
my hat so I don't get wet when it rains outside, which is always raining. So this is Grandma's cabinet. I keep all old books, little bits of curiosities on top. Unfortunately, one of the glass panels broke, but it's the original paint. It's a little thing where she used to do the baking on here, the with the um, metal tray type thing. There's even some lino in there from my kitchen floor from the 1950s. And this is the other doors underneath and cupboards where I keep all the bits of brushes and paints and things and little memories. So yeah, it's nice to have. So what I'll do, I'll post again later and you can see how these both look done together. <laughs> Thank you. 